Welcome back to another realism survival video, and today I'll be living as one of the top predators of the sea, Auroron. If you are new here, basically I'll be following what description says about the creature, their possible behaviors, preferences, and habits. The story will now begin. I was born somewhere near Volcano and Redwoods. Just as I wander around to explore this world, I sense a threat is close by. As I looked around, I see something blended in the darkness right in front of me. It is one of the mutants' creature, the Phantom. I know I'm not strong enough to compete it yet, so the only thing I could do is run. As a hatchling, there's not much I can do. Not strong enough to hunt, not heavy enough to grab, and not scary enough to threaten. I have no choice but to have shrimps as my meals. While I was exploring the ocean, I noticed there is a statue-looking structure at the bottom, so I swam closer to check. But as I got closer, it seems more like remains of an ancient creature. With how big the area it covers, I can tell it must be a high-tier or even top-tier creature. After a while of searching, I still can't find any possible prey. To prevent myself from starving, I have to find food on land instead. Luckily, there is a small piece of meat near the coast. Just when I go back to the ocean, I sense a huge aquatic creature, so I decided to check what exactly the creature is. It's a kame, one of the biggest sea creatures. But as a newborn, I'm not going to challenge it. Nighttime has arrived. As I was searching for a good resting location, an axothin suddenly swam above me. That caught me off guard, but fortunately it is not aggressive or else my life would have ended. It has been days, but I still haven't successfully hunted anything. I started to think what am I supposed to do, and what is my life. After a while of thinking, I figured out something. Overrun has a similar hunting site as a crocodile, sitting in the water, waiting until something comes by and brutally drowns the prey. That is exactly what I'll have to do. But right now, as a baby Overrun, my strength is obviously not enough for me to do that. So I have to use other technique. Ambush. I can sniff a few creatures around, and there's one right in front coming towards me. As it got closer, I can see it is a Lizzie. This is my first time hunting. It ran past me but turned back to me again. I know it is up to something. I don't want any other creatures attracted by the smell of blood, so I grab the meat and try to run back to the closest water source. Before I keep moving, I had to heal the toxic off me first. As soon as I lay down, I reach my second stage. I've became stronger. I'm fully healed, but I'm starving. No prey spotted, so I can only hunt fishes to fill my stomach. To make sure food supply is stable, I have to hunt even when I'm not hungry. But apparently, no creatures ever swim across the ocean or come near, so I'll have to get on land and find them myself, instead of waiting in the water. I went to the main pond where most creatures will go through, and waited there. Prepare for ambush whenever a creature comes by. Just a while later, a Kidian showed up. It is walking towards me. I can't tell if they knew my existence or not. Either way, that provides me a good chance to hunt them. One hit and succeed. Nighttime has arrived. It is time for me to take a rest. Hopefully tomorrow, things will get better. New day, new story. Time to hunt again. I smell a creature near this location. To not alarm the creature, I try to not have any part of my body showed on the water surface. I can't wait to see the prey. It is a Lizzie. Again. I'm now stronger but still not enough to kill that with ease. I try to be as sneaky as possible, but my long tail is too difficult for them to not notice. I bit it a few times, but not enough to get them injured. It got away, ran into the swamp, and disappeared. I've lost track of it. Hunt failed. How excited I got, then how disappointed I am right now. But I'm not giving up. I found another prey. This time, I decided to ambush from water. But before I take any action, I'm going to observe the creature, to see the pattern of their habits.
After a while of observation, I figured out their habits. They would first go find food, then bring it back to their nest. Now I know exactly what to do. Finally, I'm at my best stage. As a fully grown Oron, there's not much I'm afraid of. I went back to the pond, and fortunately, another prey came by. I'm not letting it slip away from me. I dashed right towards the creature and killed it. Hunter seed. Just as I finished my meal, I sniff another creature, and it is crossing the ocean. How unfortunate for you! When I was searching for a sea cave, a sea creature appeared in my sight. It seems to be afraid of me, but I have no interest in hunting them, because I know it's only going to be a waste of time. Eventually, I found a cave that is good enough for me. Time to rest. Another day of hunting, I sensed wave motion in the water, so I swam towards the source where it came from. It is caused by a creature that is crossing the ocean. Nothing much to do, and it's the only creature in sight. So, it is now my target. Hunt the seed, but that does not satisfy me. When I sniff again to find my next target, I see a mid-tier creature on land. It is semi-aquatic like me, so I decided to wait in the water to ambush them instead of direct attack. Just when I was thinking of that, it came into the water. To seed. Right after I dealt with the corpse, I sensed another wave motion. Due to curiosity and vigilance, I had to go check. Luckily, not a threat, but a baby king crossing ocean. It is a good chance to eliminate a possible threat. Seems like my life as an aura run goes like this. Ambushing, observating, and mostly kill creatures off guard. Overall, it is a pretty fun experience. If you enjoyed this type of video, make sure to leave a like to support for more, and I'll see you guys in my next life.